The margarita is probably at the heart of the kind of new age of cocktails. You know, people drink margaritas at Mexican restaurants all the time. They drink margaritas at Cinco de Mayo all the time. So uh, when I first started bartending, a lot of places, in fact, almost all places, they would use some kind of triple sec, would use tequila, and they would use sweet and sour out of a gun. So it's this kind of syrupy, lemonish, sugary, syrupy thing. Or they would use rose lime juice. Or if they were really fancy, they would use both. So kind of in the 90s, people who were taking fresh limes, squeezing them and doing, making the revolutionary step of, of putting real juice and uh, uh, sometimes a little bit of real sugar uh, into this drink. The story that I most believe is that the margarita is a derivation of a drink called the Daisy, which is originally made with brandy. During Prohibition, tequila kind of started to become a little more popular because a lot of the spirits that people had drank before couldn't really be imported, so they had to make other choices. So tequila would come up from Mexico. The word margarita in Spanish evidently means daisy. So the story that I most believe is that uh, the margarita kind of was perfected as a, a tequila daisy. And the name kind of traveled up from Mexico from there.